Hi, skiers. I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. I'm Bob. How's it going? Uh, we're back due to popular demand with another bargain basement video. Love the bargain basement video. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people seem to like the bargain basement video, so we're going to do at least a small series of them, and this time we're going to focus more on free ride skis. Um, so a little bit more variety in this grouping than that last video that we did, which I think is fun. There's a lot of cool stuff up here and a lot to talk about. Um, a little bit more of a range in prices here too, and we'll yeah. kind of talk about why we put some of these in this video, and they may not seem like they're super bargains, um, but I still think they deserve a spot. So we'll get right into it with this Rosignol Soul 7. Uh, boy, kind of funny putting this ski in the bargain basement video because it's been such a popular ski over the past like almost decade yeah. in some slightly different variations of it. Um, but the Soul 7 is is gone. You know, there's there's no more Soul 7. They've replaced it with the Black Ops line, specifically the Sender and the Sender TI, which we've talked about quite a bit so far. Um, and in talking about those skis, we've talked about how much they're different from these. Right. So this is far more maneuverable, especially in terms of like slow speed maneuverability, fantastic east coast tree ski, yeah. stuff like that. Really, really good powder ski if you're, you know, I think powder, really good powder ski for like a less aggressive skier. Not to say that an aggressive skier can't get on them and enjoy them too. Right. Um, but I think that's just a really, really good application for this ski. And this is the type of thing that like if you want a Soul 7, if you're a Soul 7 skier, and I know there are Soul 7 skiers out there, there are a lot of you, this is kind of your last chance yeah. to get one. Um, we don't have, <clears throat> we don't have like a huge abundance of these skis, uh, but we do have enough that I thought it was worthwhile putting it in this bargain basement video. Um, and these are coming at 449 on our site right now, which is pretty darn good deal. And as a reminder, uh, you can slap a binding on here at a discount. We'll do mounting for free, shipping for free, um, and we also have a loyalty points program too. So you're gonna, you know, if you if you buy one of these bargain basement skis, it's not just the discounted price, um, but it's also you know you get a lot of extra stuff yeah. for free. There's a lot of extra value there. Um, if you like this, but you want a slightly narrower ski, uh, we have a similarly. Really good price on the Sky Seven. This thing's four nineteen right now. Yeah, that's pretty. That's down there. That's yeah. really, really good price for a ski. Um, a, a, you know, a high end ski like this. I also think it's worthwhile talking about these, the Soul in the Sky, and mentioning Alpine Touring. Uh, a lot of people are looking to put together Alpine Touring setups right now. Both of these are perfectly reasonable options. Yeah. Especially if you're putting something like a Solomon Shift on them or a Duke PT. Right, and then you know you're 98 underfoot with the sky, and was it 107 with the sole? Yeah. Um, so that's right in that right in that sweet spot for that touring. Yeah, exactly. Touring setup. You know, East Coast touring, West Coast touring. Yeah. Not really that black and white, but I think that's a good way to think about it yeah. in your mind. Um, next ski we have here is the Scott Scrapper 105. Uh, these things are really cool, and they kind of fly under the radar a little bit. I would say Scott skis in general fly under the radar. Uh, this thing is 419 right now, uh, and it's a whole lot of ski for 419. Probably my favorite thing about this, and there's actually like, there's a pair right there, right, Bob? I guess the that's 95s. a 95. Yeah. Um, but I had a friend, a local friend, reach out recently and said, hey, I'm trying to put together an Alpine Touring setup. Um, but I also want it to be a twin tip. Yeah. He was like, I'm not going to center mount them, but I do want the ability to ski switch every once in a while. And this thing is one of those skis, and it's a, it's a pretty small group of yeah. touring skis with twin tips. We've got kind of another one on the, on the far end there. But if you're looking for a ski like that, this is a phenomenal choice. Super lightweight. I think these things are around 1,500, maybe like 1,600 grams. Um, but but super super light wood carbon aramid you know those are materials that we yeah. talked about a lot in ski construction a lot of companies are using them so don't overlook these Scott skis just because Scott doesn't kind of you know they're not like a trendy brand I think is fair to say 
um, but they make some some really really good skis. Well, and it's interesting how we got involved with Scott with a big closeout purchase to start. Yeah. And then you know did really well with that stuff from skis to clothing and and poles, and then you know moving into the more you know. Uh, modern stuff with Scott and right. you know we've just had a good experience with it so it's you know from how they ski to the prices we get for them uh, it's a good that's a good brand to be in yeah fantastic bargain yeah you know we talked about a bar a bargain basement video yeah uh, we have to put something from Scott in here right um, partly just because our company in general you can find really really good deals on Scott stuff on our site right you know in my opinion they make the best poles in the, the world yeah like we have the Scott team issue pole which is like a hundred and twenty dollar pole grade four aluminum like the highest grade metal yeah. you can get in a pole really really nice grips and we sell them for like 49.95 right. like all day yep um, so check that out we also have uh, we have some really touring specific skis from Scott too so this is another ski that's four hundred and nineteen dollars right now pretty similar wood carbon aramid but this thing is like crazy yeah, light. Yeah, it's feather light. Like yeah. I would throw it to Bob and not really worry about him do that. <laughs> catching or cutting his hand upon catching it. And there aren't really many skis that are, you know, this light for yeah. for a price like this right now. And yeah. with our touring skis, we're trying to pair those up with uh, a touring binding, either yeah. a shift or a kingpin, um, to get you that same value as you see with the killer, the Alpine killer deals. So. You know, keep your eye out for stuff like that on our site too. That comes with that touring specific binding, um, and usually you're getting that at a pretty good discount. So yeah, I've seen some really good touring packages yeah. come through in orders recently. There's some, you know, it's pretty easy to drop two thousand dollars on a touring setup. Right. Um, and we have some packages right now that are pretty darn good deal, and and they you can get get in for like half that almost. Right. Um, next up, we talked about the black edition of this ski in our last video. I, I really think it's worth giving credit to this ski too and giving some attention to this ski. This is the Elan Ripstick 106 non-black edition. This we have at $489 where the black edition is about $100 more. Um, very, very similar in terms of performance. This is one of my like just favorite directional freeride skis. It's got a huge range of skiers that can get on it and have a lot of fun yeah like an intermediate that's kind of like just starting to ski off-piste backcountry terrain can ski this ski and then won't feel overwhelmed right but then like you or i can get on them and they're just a blast like it's the thing that i keep coming back to on these skis is how much torsional stiffness they have when you want it yeah. while still having like a relatively soft longitudinal flex um, and just just super super fun and like I said we've got the black edition um, you know you kind of got a couple choices with this ski so ripstick shape I think appeals to a lot of skiers and between these two models you can kind of decide hey for me personally is it worth putting down another hundred dollars for a little bit more carbon and thus a little bit more edge grip um, or do you need it or not you know it's a it's cool that you can make that decision and that there's a just a hundred dollar difference between the two and just you know what we talk about the like those specifically have the right left specific skis with the amphibio rocker profile so that inside edge is cambered and the outside edge is rockered uh, just a different way of going about the ski um, as well as the carbon tubes that they use and Jeff you had talked about like the the stiffness is, is it's an interesting flex and that yeah. has to do with those tubes and them generating you know that 360 degree range of flex which right. is very unique and specific to these Elan skis um, you know and we've seen it with like the vertical laminates coming out more recently um, but they kind of were ahead of the game with these tubes yeah this tube light technology um, and that's you know that's very specific to that and does lend to the torsional stiffness that, that Jeff was talking about. So yeah, as far as I know, there's no one else using carbon in exactly the same application right. in a true three dimensional application like that. Yeah. And you know it sounds gimmicky like when we talk about this stuff, but it, it truly does. You can feel it in the performance. Yeah. It does work. Yep, yeah, it's a unique feel for a ski for sure. Yep. Uh, moving on over here, uh, we got a vocal confession, and much like the Soul 7 that Jeff was talking about, uh, this thing's going away, um, so there'll be no more vocal confessions. 
Uh, this was a pretty cool ski from the start because the vocal it was more athlete driven by the vocal athletes. Yeah. Um, they had had you know what, the vocal two or the one or the right. three, um, which were fully rockered skis. Um, all wood. Kind of like that Revolt 121 now. Yeah, exactly. Um, and the, you know, the confession came out, they put camber back underfoot, and they put a tightenal band in the middle. So when the skiers got on these steeper, um, more technical faces, they needed that camber underfoot to generate the edge grip necessary to, you know, to hold tight to those. Um, so the confession was born, and this thing's pretty cool, wood core ski with the tightenal band through the middle. Um, so that keeps the center spine of the ski, you know, nice and stable and strong. Um, the sides of the ski where the metal is not is a little bit more playful and, and free ride in nature. Uh, you know, pretty flat tail too, so that's going to lend to the more high performance skiing, but a fair amount of, of uh, taper in both the tip and the tail, um, yeah. as well as a pretty aggressive uh, tip splay. So really just going to pop you right up out of the snow. Um, this one, what is it, 117 underfoot, so definitely getting some width and some flotation with, with this thing. Um, in terms of price, we got this thing going for, what does it say here? 549 549 thank you. Pretty so pretty good. good, you know, under 550 bucks. Um, you know, and if you add the binding, you're up over 600 uh, Jeff had touched on our loyalty points program, and just to s specify that, uh, every dollar is a point. At every $300, you get $15 off your next order. So this with the binding gets you over $600, gets you $30 off of your next order. Or yeah. if you have currently have loyalty points, if you're an existing customer, um, you can use that on, and on any of these skis, any person at any time. So yeah. just, in, just the way we're trying to um, add value to, to, to the whole setup here. I've seen some people rack up some serious yeah. loyalty points yep. and like, get like full ski skis. Yeah, free skis free, basically. Free. It's all free money. So the more you <laughs> yeah. spend, the more you save. Um, and then on the narrower end, to complement that, is the Vocal Kanjo. Um, this thing is also gone. It's Kanjo 84 uh, for 2021. Yeah. Um, so they've nixed the Titan band, put in a glass frame, similar to the uh, Deacon 80. Um, and that's kind of, you know, kind of flips the script on the Kanjo. Totally. Um, which I thought was interesting, um, kind of taking that that center structure and moving it to the edges. Pretty much did it with the Confession too, you know. In yep. th in theory, the ski that replaces that is the Katana 108. Yeah. Even though it's much it's narrower, but kind of in their catalog, right. if you were to flip through, that's kind of taking the place. And I do think these Titanal Band skis have a different personality. Yeah. A little bit more quickness, a little bit more edge to edge compliance. Right. Call it forgiveness, call it whatever you want, but I do think they feel different. And that Kanjo is what three three nine nine nine. Yeah, I think that's one of the best deals on the site right now. Right, and kind of an unheralded ski. You know, it's that yeah. that flat ski that's a little narrower for all mountain use. Um, but if you don't want a system and want that front side application, um, that's a that's a great choice uh, for sure. Really good mogul ski too. Yep, super when I quick. got on that. I, yeah. I loved skiing it in the moguls. Yep. Um, so those two are replaced and going away. So again, kind of a last. Last chance to get those if you're a fan of, of how they skied in the past. Yeah, Titanal frame or Titanal band is, yeah. is seemingly going away. Yep. Uh, Black Crow's Nocta up next, and this is kind of where uh, the bargain might take a seat to a more, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, just an interesting ski. It's, it's <laughs> unique to, to be able to find a Black Crow's ski yeah. at a discount. They're sure. in high demand, they're pretty sought after skis, so that's why I wanted to include the Nocta. Um, but it's a big one. It's 122 underfoot, 26 meter turn radius, um, pretty low, low rise in the tip, and nice little tail shape there for, you know, playful free ride, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you're staying on top of the snow with this thing. It just has yeah, a absolutely. real nice even flex, you know, full wood core ski, and, you know, just the way that they shape it with that increased taper um, has a lot to do with how this thing performs yep. and kind of, you know, just bounces through the snow. Just such a fun powder ski. Yep, and we got this thing, what does it say, 751? Yeah, still in the $700 range. Yep. Um, um, but, but you get more you get more loyalty points if you spend more. So. <laughs> and full price on the Nocta's in the 900 range normally. Yeah. Um, and I do think it's, you, it, it's more challenging to find Black Crow skis at a discount. Um, yeah. So 
I thought it was an interesting ski to include. I know it's a pretty popular kind of sought after. It's got a bit of a cult following like the yeah. next ski that Bob's going to talk about here. Um, so the knock, uh, Corvus, I'm sorry. Um, you know, that's the other option here um, from Black Crows. And kind of the cool thing about this is that flat tail. Um, totally flat. Totally flat. Um, not a whole lot going on there in terms of the tail shape there. Um, a little bit stiffer than the Nocta and a little bit narrower, 107 underfoot. Um, so still like kind of that free ride influence, but that tail is really going to get you, you know, hooked in, locked into the turn. Yep. Um, so skiers looking to make those straighter line turns, um, that this is going to be a good choice. Uh, 695 for this. So again, you know, thinking about it from a retail perspective, you know, and down to what we have, it's a good deal. Um, you know, still almost $700 for a pair of skis, but, um, you know, hard to find, you know, niche, yeah. niche market for that. Um, and just a ton of fun. And neither of those skis change. Right. Um, so you're still getting a current ski in terms of shape, construction, all that stuff. Yeah. So it might not feel like it's a huge bargain, Yeah. Um, but I really think it is. I wouldn't put them up here if I didn't personally think that they yeah. were good bargains. Um, and the same is true about the last two skis we've got, too, in the sense that they're still current models. Yeah. Yeah, different graphic for 2021, but this is a 2020 uh, Fisher Ranger 102 FR. And, you know, we've done a couple of different reviews on, you know, uh, this ski coming up, which is yeah. available both blue and pink in all sizes, which is a cool thing. Um, and has that kind of, like Jeff was saying earlier, that more twin tip. If you're looking for a lighter free ride twin tip oriented ski. Yeah, um, there aren't many of them. Not a ton of them. Um, and this is a really good one. Uh, 102 underfoot, you know, full wood core and then carbon nose. Um, so the carbon nose really helps the ski get, you know, quicker edge to edge, more playful, a little bit better flotation in the tip. You know, it just has that really nice tip shape for uh, planing up and over the snow. Um, and just an impressive ski for 102 all wood. Especially for $419. Yeah, 419 what a deal uh, for this, you know, for the 2020 model. Um, just a really fun ski, you know. Does does it all? Put a yeah. Put a touring binding on there. Put yeah. an alpine binding on there. Um, you know, I don't. I don't think Fisher has like the same following as maybe like a Nordica or something like that. Yeah. So you know, you saw a lot of a lot of popularity and a, and a lot of feedback and just excitement about the Enforcer 104. Yeah. And I think as people started gravitating towards that ski, this ski started earning a little bit yeah. more more praise and a little bit more popularity because they kind of fall into a similar category. Um, and, and they're just, they're awesome skis. Yeah. There's no other way to put it. They're just, they're really, really good skis. And then the, the smaller counterpart is this 94, um, which 359, um, that's, just like that that's as good as it gets. Got, yeah, it's one of the best deals on the site right yeah, now. Yeah, definitely. Same, you know, same build, wood core with the carbon nose um, and that twin tip shape. You know, it's basically the same ski, just eight millimeters wider throughout. Um, just a ton of snap into this thing. Um, you know, we had a good test day on this when it came out and, you know, I got this in the 185 and it is a little light, um, for that, but still very impressive for how well it holds up. Um, you know, in any and all conditions really quick, you know, it's wider than the Kanjo, but, uh, that's going to give it more versatility. Um, you know, especially here in the East, I think this kind of um, these two kind of mirror those soles well with, you know, your east coast, east coast tree, west coast tree. Yeah, exactly. Um, again, not as cut and dry, but um, that's a good way to think about it. And just the fact that this thing is well under four hundred dollars is uh, is pretty impressive. So, um, just really good, you know, really good deals on these fishers. Great skis. Um, the structure hasn't changed for the, for 2021, so you're still getting the same, um, you know, the, the same build as what you're getting for this year's ski. Yeah, a lot of technology in those skis for n pretty yeah. low price, um, which, yeah. which I think is Im impressive. And I think something that kind of carries through this, this whole wall is there's a lot of technology up here and, and some pretty good prices 
Um, so, yeah, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Uh, hopefully there's something that you find value in up here. I really think there's some special skis on this wall. Um, you know, I think I alluded to this at the beginning, talking specifically about the Soul 7, but we're not quite as deep in inventory in some of these as we are in the all-mountain skis that we talked about last week. Um, so don't be surprised if you see them gone a little faster than those narrower skis. Uh, but definitely some deals to be taken advantage of up, of up here, and, and they shouldn't go away too, too quick. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks for joining us. Uh, leave a comment and, and let us know what the next Bargain Basement video you'd like to see is. Uh, and, gosh, I think in, in two weeks, Bob and I will be back with our first 2021 ski comparison. I did a big spreadsheet of all the skis that we're going to be talking about and sent it to Bob and I think I maybe exploded your mind. There's a lot of skis. It's a lot of skis. <laughs> Uh, but it's going to be a lot of fun, and I think there's some really good comparisons this yeah. year. There's some kind of cool difference, differences in, in within the categories yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, so thanks as, always, thanks as always for joining us, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Sweet.